All right, I'm gonna make like three racetracks in Blender for the work that I'm gonna do in Unity. I just want three different racetracks. So first I'll start up Blender and I'll just have it be a general new project here where it has a cube and the camera and the light. I'm gonna be bringing this into Unity later so I don't need the camera and the light, so I'll delete them. So um, first thing I have is this cube. Um, to start off with, the cube is gonna be in the shape of a road segment and the road segment is gonna track along, kind of putting the pieces of the road segments together to make a track. So uh, mm, first thing I'm going to do, I have the cube object. Let me add a visor curve that's going to be my track. So I go to Add, Curve, Visor. And right now it's kind of really small. Let me just go to Edit Mode on the visor curve. And you can see it there. It's pretty small with the control points. Let me just scale that up a bit. So I could use the cube as a reference because the car is almost about the size of a cube. So if the car is going to be going around the track, I'll get up idea of how big to make the track. All right, um, so let's just take this visor curve here and make a track with it. So what I'll do is I'll select a point and then I will press the E key for extrude to extrude out another point. And there you go, you can see I have another point there for this curve that I'm making. Doo -doo -doo. And then I'll press E again and maybe over here I'll turn this around because I am going to want the track to connect. Let me just make sure something, oh, I messed up. The track went down lower. So let me just delete this um, segment. Uh, i just start over again. No, I don't want to start over again. Let's just take this and delete point. Okay. And that's still not on a flat surface. Delete point. So I want to make sure that I stay on a flat surface because um, the way I'm doing the cars right now in the AI, I just want it to be a flat track. So I'll just look at it from straight overhead top view and I'll do it again. I'll select the point, press E to extrude out a point, And let's say that that's the turn there. And do another E. I want it to come down this way. Uh, oh, not that way. Bend it around this way for a curve. E, and I guess I could connect these two points there. So let's select that point and shift click that point. I had the two points selected. Now I will right click and I want to, how do I connect? Merge by distance maybe? No, control Z. Then I will make a segment. Well, that worked. I got a loop-de-loop -loop there. Just wanted to connect the close the loop, but um, yeah, maybe it's because this is going too far in. Yeah, unwind that loop. All right, so this is a kind of first track I have looking at it from up top, and let me just make sure it's flat. It it's not flat. It's not flat, but maybe we can get away with it. It'd be good to do some training with a track that's not flat. All right, so now I have this huge track. Basically, the track pattern is laid out with this visor curve. So it could be a little bit big. Um, I could shrink it down a little bit more because I don't even see the cube. Whoopsie. Let's go to object mode, object mode, scale, and scale down this. And then let me go to the cube and zoom in. All right, so that's, I think that's good. If it's not, we'll scale up the track, scale it down. But uh, I just want to remember that the size of this is thing. So now I'm going to take the cube and now I'm going to start doing the cube with the, um, object mode, selected the cube, and then I'll click this wrench icon for the modifier, and I will do an array of the cube, and you can see that what happened, let me just click, 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 see the array is going this way, so that means when I make the track segment, I guess I want to stretch it this way, okay, because the array is going this way, so the road will go up and down like this, and I could put on wireframe, or I could do this with the transparency so you can see like the segment, you see the segments there. So let's make the track a little bit wider. All right, so a cube is like that, the tracks, how many cars fit across on a road. And then I could probably flatten out the road. All right, and then what I wanna have is walls coming up on the side of the road. So I'm gonna switch now to edit mode and I'll be editing this. And let me first do some loop cuts. I'll add one loop cut in the middle 
And when I click that, it brings up this little bar. So I'm going to make that into two loop cuts, okay? Two loop cuts. And then I'll select the scale tool. I didn't click anything else yet, so they're still selected, my two loop cuts. Click the scale tool, and then just stretch those out to the side, because what I want to do is I want to pull up from the sides a wall. So now I'll make sure that up here, I click the face select, and I'll click on the little, see those little black dots? This is the face over here, and then I'll hold the shift key and click this face over here. And now I could use the move tool and press the E so I could extrude a new face coming up. So I press E and then I just drag up and this will be the side walls for my track. Okay, so now I have that shape done. Sometimes I may want to have the track have something so I could tell like the distance if I was driving. So I may make a little feature um, really simple. I could just do something like this, select the edge it's like the two edges here and I could just pull it up and then, you know, then I could tell as you're moving along the track because, you know, the edges will be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know, you'll see motion instead of seeing the same thing. All right. So now I have a track road segment. Now I'm going to add another modifier. This one was the array modifier. And if I think if I move this out, you'll see the whole word array modifier. But now I'm going to add another modifier. It's the curve, the form. So I want to, I want to um, take this um, mesh object and I want it to place itself along the curve. So that would be the curve deform modifier. And here it is. It's asking me for the object to go curve on. And that's where I pick my visor curve. See, it has it right there. So I pick the visor curve as the object I'm going to deform on. And it doesn't seem to be curving on there. Um, for the array, let's fit the curve. So that means it'll make as many segments in the array so that it fits the whole curve. And here for the array, I will select visor curve. Okay, so that's how long the road is, but now let's put it to the curve. So I kind of had the two modifiers, but maybe I have to change the order of them. So I will just move up the curve modifier into that position and see if that makes a difference. No, maybe it's because I'm in edit mode. Let me go to object mode. Uh-huh, let's put the curve modifier back down. There we go. All right, so now, I have a track, it's curving around, and I can see that in one corner, it's kind of scrunched up kind of tight. So I'm in object mode still, let me pick a different object. Let me pick the visor curve, and then go into edit mode on the visor curve. So what I'll just do here is take this segment, and I will just move it so that I'll try to do something with it so it is not so scrunched up. Maybe I'll take these endpoints here and there, so the curve is not so crunched up on the corner there. That works. And over here, it's a little crunched up too. I could just take this point, try to move it in, try to adjust it so it's not too badly crunched up. So that's that's my track looking at in 3D, all right? And this is the first track I made. So let's export this track so I could use it in Unity. So I'll say File, Export, and I'll pick FBX. Now, when I do the export, what I want for my export here is I want the mesh. And I want to do the experimental transform for Unity when it comes into Unity. There's no animations, there's no rigging, and the geometry, apply the modifiers. Okay, so let's give it a name and a place that we're gonna save it. I'll pick to put it to my Windows desktop. Here, I will call this um, track one, okay? And oh, I guess it wants the FBX extension, FBX, then say export. Oh, I already have a track one FBX on my desktop. So let's call this um, AI track zero one, export, bam. So now if I look here, let me just, Move this over, here it is, track 01 FBX. So that's my first track. Now I can make a second track and I'm not gonna start a whole thing over again. I just will use the same track, but with the visor curve in edit mode, I will just move around some of these points. So let's change this track to have a straightaway over here. And then maybe this over here. this here and this one, select that point. 
pull this down and I still have the same hill formation, but it's a little bit of a different shaped track. Okay. I think we'll do that. We got two straightaways where the cars could really take off in speed, I guess. So here's another track. Now, this could be my second track. File, export, FBX, add track 02 to the desktop. Use I'm going to do desktop. And the settings are still there from the last time I said export, and now I press export. Bam. And now I have two tracks. Now let's take one more track. Mm -hmm. And let's give this one some wicked, let's give it a wicked turn in here. This is a nice long curve. That's a sharp one. Maybe with this track, let's add another segment. So how can I do that? Do, 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 do. Well, let's play around with some of the settings here. Um, let me press A to select all the points. A, so I selected all my points. And then um, I'm going to keep my mouse over one of the points and get the pop-up menu. Ooh, I wonder what smooth does. Boom. Okay, it just smooths out the curves. I should have done that before. What, else, what other things can I do here to make my third track? Smooth curve tilt. I guess, what is that? I don't see anything changed. But I think that may have to do with something like this. Like, say I had this point, and it's, like, way up here. Now, do you look right here how the curve, the road is, like, tilting over like splashing over the side. Could it be that? Also right here, you see how the thing is tilted over? So let me press A to select everything and then say smooth curve tilt. No, that doesn't do anything. Smooth curve radius. No, that doesn't do anything. Do I have everything selected still? Yeah. What other things do I have here? Clear the tilt. Nah, it's not doing anything. So, so much for that idea. So let me just pick this point again and bring it back down. Try to make a flatter track. All right, I think I just found something. Remember I kind of made the, I said join the segments to join the track. I found something better to join the track with. Here I have these two points selected, or maybe I could select everything, A. Then I could um, go over a point, right click, and say toggle cyclic, Alt-C. All right, so from the first, here it just made a hole. But then if I untoggle, bam, cyclic. Maybe that could have been a way I could have joined the track together. All right. Well. Here's a way I could change the track with the tools. I'm going to press A to select all the vertices. A. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say decimate curve. So this is the complexity of the curve at 100%. Then as you see I simplify it. Points are taken away and the curve becomes simpler. Until I got two points only. So I think here, here was 100 points. And there this whole end is a curve. There. Let's do that. And then I could take this point here and just move it over. This could be uh, my simpler track, I guess. Okay, and it's a, also a smaller track. And now let me say File, say Export, FBX. And now I have my third track, track 03, FBX, and export that to the desktop export. And now I should have three tracks that I could use for my AI car tutorial to test the car driving on three different tracks. Ta-da.